Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present to you the true history of the tragic life and triumphal death of Julia Pastrana, often billed as the ugliest woman in the world. We got Siamese twins, and sheep with two heads, and a boy with the face of a fish. And ghost trains and geeks, wild child of Borneo. And armless wonders, and legless wonders, and civilless wonders, and parasitic twins. Real wonders never cease. I've got the real thing. A genuine oddity, a freak, ghastly to behold. The crying, talking, walking, sleeping, real McCoy live and kicking her heels just waiting to come on stage and fill your hearts with fear. Fill your hearts with loathing. Fill your hearts with disgust. Fill your hearts with joy, pure joy. Because when you see her, no matter how you cry, no matter how you wail, no matter how you sympathize, no matter how you empathize, in your heart of hearts, you'll be screaming. So, without further ado, we present to you, for your delectation and delight, the epitome of unsightliness, that doyen of disfigurement, that non pari obnoxious neolithic physiological non conformity, the girl gargoyle herself, Julia Pastrana, the ugliest woman in the world. My God. My eyes are deep black and somewhat prominent, and the lids had long, thick eyelashes. My features are simply hideous, on an account of the profusion of hair growing on my forehead in my black beard. But my figure, <laughs> my figure is exceedingly good and graceful. And my tiny foot and my well-turned ankle, bien sauce, perfection itself. I have a sweet voice, great taste for dancing and music, and I speak three languages. I'm very charitable and give largely to local institutions from my earth. Mr. Lamb, likes to invent wild tales about my past, but my true history is that I'm just a simply, hideously deformed young Mexican Indian woman. That's all, folks. Kindly leave the tent. Next show in 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Move on down the carnival. 15 minutes. Move on down the carnival. 15 minutes.